Hello. Do you know what happens if you put 12 ad breaks into one YouTube video? And how do you even put a mid-roll ad break into a YouTube video? I'm going to show you what happens when I ram one YouTube video with loads of ad breaks. It's a two-part video. This is part one. I'll put what happens next as a link in the description. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy and I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and onto here on YouTube. Have you seen what's on YouTube lately? We need your ideas, we need them now. So let's dive now into my YouTube studio dashboard where we can see which video is gonna get the ad break treatment. Now I'm gonna scroll down to this section here on my analytics, your top videos in this period. This is the reason I'm doing this. My channel is really broken. I want to niche my channel, so that's partly why I'm doing this crazy experiment. If you look at my top five videos one two three four five there look at this one my valent boiler remote control manual this video has me reading out the instruction manual from beginning to end for 40 minutes this was in april and it was from the time when i was trying to do lots of experiments to get 1000 subscribers well i did that and now i have a channel that's just full of stuff like this now i've got a problem because when someone sees this video they're not going to want to watch all my videos about how to get ideas out of your head and onto youtube they've got their information about the central heating they're not coming back and that i think damages my channel in the YouTube algorithm. But the problem I've got is look, it's making me money. It's maybe $20 so far. Now I'm trying to take a long-term view on this. One option is to just delete the video, but I don't wanna do that because it's earning money and it's bringing in views. But the views are the wrong kind of views. The video lasts 40 minutes. So what if I put a lot of ad breaks in it? What would happen? Would it reduce the overall watch time or even the number of views? Or would it make the revenue go up? So that's basically the experiment because I need money, but also because I need to start to move these videos off my channel. So I might as well play around with them first. So I don't recommend you do this. I think I can be the full guy for this particular experiment. Now the way to add an ad break, firstly, obviously you need to be monetized, but I think you already know that. You need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last year. You can see that I have monetization on and I have ticked everything I could tick. Down here on the monetization tab, because the video is longer than eight minutes, there's a section here called manage mid rolls. I've got a few mid rolls, <laughs> but thankfully this shot cuts them out and leaves them out of shot. But with these mid rolls, look, I've already have five ad breaks in here. The first one's at 11 minutes 57 and you can see on the top left hand corner these are the other times of the videos. I think these are the times that YouTube placed automatically and I like this really sneaky one at the end at 38 minutes 54 seconds which is about 10 seconds before the end. But we don't want five ad breaks in this video. I'm going to double it and add two more, make it 12 ad breaks. So firstly, let's remove the ad breaks which are here. It's really easy to remove an ad break. All you have to do is hit this trash can sign. We call them rubbish bins here. And I'll just delete, delete, delete. So I wanted to place the first ad break at five minutes. And the way I would do that is if I run this cursor up to five minutes, let's see what's happening around here to place our first ad break. Outside a set time period. Let's just put it there. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going crazy with the ad breaks today. It's very easy. You just hit add, ad break. And there you go. There's a nice blue line to indicate my first ad break. And if you want to save at any point, you just hit continue here and that's it. It's placed the ad break, but we're not going to stop there. Let me take you into my analytics and you'll see why I've chosen three minutes. My average view duration, which isn't easy to say, is three minutes and two seconds. So I thought, why don't I just make the ad breaks every three minutes? Let's go with the mid rolls. I've got the first one at five minutes. Let's put the next one at eight minutes. And I guess we'll find out what that is. The cliffhanger. I like it. Add ad break. The next one I'm gonna do at 12 minutes. Hey, I could have a little counter in the corner adding up the ad breaks. Regarding the active time period. Add ad break. If you're watching the actual video I'm putting these ad breaks on, I'm so sorry, but you know, my daughter needs shoes. Let's put the next one at 15. Setback mode. That's a good one. Ad break. 2200 hours. 
ad break. The next one will be at 21 minutes. At temperature. Ad break. 24 minutes. And can no longer operate the controller. Oh, that's an ad break. 27 minutes in. You better believe that's a mid-roll ad break. 30 minutes. Without taking time periods into consideration. Oh. Ad break. 33 minutes. Ad break. <laughs> the following service messages may appear. 36 minutes. All together now. Ad break. And finally, 39 minutes into this 39 minute video. Eco fits pure valent remote control. Ad break. Now I make that 12 ad breaks, but before I hit save, I'm gonna try one more experiment. I'm gonna try and get one more ad break in. And I've always wanted to do this. If you go right to the very, very, very beginning, back to zero colon zero zero, will YouTube allow me to add a mid-roll ad break at zero seconds into my YouTube video? I've got zero 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 in the time code, so you can type it straight in there. And we'll go up to add ad break and see what happens. Yeah. It's done it. Now I don't know if that's gonna work because technically this is my first mid-roll ad at zero seconds. So I'm kind of adding an extra commercial onto the ads before my video starts. Who knows what effect that's gonna have on my watch time for this. I don't care because I don't want this video doing more damage by bringing me more viewers. It's a bit like the plot of the movie The Producers, isn't it? I want that money! Oh, I fell on my keys. I'm almost trying to make a profit by making people not come to see my show. Mel Brooks, you're a genius. So I'm gonna hit continue here and it seems to have accepted it. I now have a YouTube video with 13 mid-roll ad breaks. If I hit the manage mid-rolls button, there they are, 13 of them. <laughs> Will it be money or reduced watch time? What do you think? Leave me a comment below. Make your prediction now before I release part two of this video so you can see the actual impact that this has on my video and my channel. Our 13 YouTube mid-roll ad breaks are now locked in and they can now do their magic and spread their news of Wix and Honey <laughs> and Grammarly. But let's take a look now at some of my other long videos that I think are damaging my ability to niche my channel, to have my channel be more about getting ideas out of your head onto YouTube. So I'm going to go now to how to make a bus blind display case. Now I love this video because it's 14 minutes long but it does not connect with any of my other videos on the channel except maybe my bus videos which again I've got to move. So let's get to the mid rolls. Now at the moment I've been very restrained because I have one ad break at 12.26 in a 14 minute video. So let's see what happens if we add the ad breaks. And we'll add ad break right at the start, at that zero, zero, zero. That's our first ad break. I'll put these every three minutes as well. I'm just gonna put them straight in without really checking if they interrupt anything. So ad break at three minutes. Let's go to six minutes. I could just type it in here, couldn't I? Nine minutes, add ad break, 12 minutes, add ad break. And we can move this final one. You can actually drag them along the timeline as well. So if I highlight it, you can see it turns blue and I can just drag that ad break over to say 13 minutes just before it ends. So we now have six ad breaks instead of one. Link in the description takes you to the update video where we'll find out what the effect on my revenue is for this video. For context, my bus blind video earned me 44 cents this month. We'll see if that figure goes up. What I'm going to do now is to find my top viewed videos in the last 28 days and see if there's a long one here that I can ram with ad breaks. Oh, this is a good one. This is how to buy postage in the UK. It's an absolutely gripping video about how to buy stamps online. This video has already earned me $27 from YouTube. Let's see if I can get more money or if the views will go down. And this is one of my best performing videos. At the moment, there's only one ad and I think that was placed automatically by YouTube. So how do we do this? Let's put one at zero, zero, and I'll put one at three minutes, 5.45, add ad break. And we've got one at the end. Let's put one in just before the video finishes. So the video finishes at 9.42. 
Let's put one in at 9.41. So we now have five ad breaks instead of one. Don't forget to hit save. And just as a control experiment, I have three videos about me traveling on Southwestern Railway. And I'm going to add an ad break at zero seconds on each of these to see what effect that has on the views or the revenue. That video earns me 31 cents per month. That's the figure we're looking to beat. Now I need to put a warning on this experiment, which is I don't care what effects it has on my revenue or my watch time for those videos because I think they are being quite harmful to my channel anyway through their success. But I have no guarantee that YouTube will actually serve 13 ad breaks in that first video or any of the others. Even though I have put a mid-roll ad break at zero seconds, I don't know if YouTube are even going to play along with that and actually supply a video at zero seconds. Who knows, I'll be watching the videos myself to see if it looks like an extra ad has been played. But I think the only way that I'm going to tell whether or not this works is to check the update video that I'm going to make in one month's time. That video is right here. I suggest we all go there now to see how much money I earned or to see how much my watch time or video views have plummeted. I might have crashed the channel. Here's what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Thanks for coming along with me on this dangerous experiment. Now do you know what would be really funny right now is if I put in an ad break